Today we are looking at logarithmic and exponential form. Let us start. Sometimes it's a bit difficult to convert from exponential form to logarithmic or from logarithmic form to exponential form. So this lesson, this lesson video we are going to look at how to convert from one form to another. Now suppose we have this general term and obviously we are trying to solve for x. So how do you convert from this form to logarithmic form? Let me quickly use a different color for this. This is b, then raised to the power x, and then we have a. So how do you convert? It will be x is equals to log base a. So you can simply write this. Its exponent equals to log base answer so when i'm trying to say answer i'm trying to say this subject of the formula and then it will be this exponent it's equals to log base of the exponent and then we have answer so basically this is how we convert from exponential form to logarithmic now looking at example, suppose you have 4 to the power x is equals to 3 and then you are trying to we are trying to write this in lo logarithmic form. So it will be x which is our exponent equals to log. What is our base? Our base is 4 and then answer is 3. This is 0.79 2. We can also prove this. Suppose we have 2 to the power x is equals to 2. As you all know the laws of exponents. If we have if we have common basis, we can simply drop the basis and equate the exponents. In this case, we know that the exponent of this 2 is 1. Then this simply means that we drop the basis, we are going to be left with x is equals to 1. We are using the laws of exponents. Now using logs, 2 to the power x is equals to 2. We know that we have x is equals to log 2, which is the base, 2, which is the answer. Now you must know that whenever we have log and then base is, is the same as answer, just know that this will always be equals to 1. It doesn't matter whether you have log 10, 10, the answer is equal to 1. Log 20, 20, the answer will be equal to 1. So in this case, it's log 2, 2, the answer is equal to 1. Changing from log to exponential. It's simple. The moment you understand from exponential to log, it will be simple to uh, just reverse the process. Now in this case, it's very important for you to know how to reverse the process because there are other questions whereby you need to reverse and then you can quickly solve the question, especially when you're not using a calculator. You can simply solve the question when it's in exponential form instead of log. Now suppose you are given this question, x is equals to log 4, which is 16, our answer. So how do we reverse this? We know that this will be 16. It's equals to the base, it's 4. And then the exponent, it's x. So actually we have 4x, it's equals to 16. Now it's 4x to the power 4 squared. Now since the bases are the same, we can quickly drop them and then x will be equals to 2.
looking at another example x x is equals to log 1 over 2 4 so it will be 4 it's equals to 1 over 2 2 power x now we have 1 over 2 to the power x is equals to 4 using the laws of exponents we know that this 2 is a raised to the power 1 when you take it to the numerator level this and positive 1 will be negative 1 so we actually have 1 multiplied by 2 to the power negative 1 x is equals to 4 and then from that 1 multiplied by negative 1 multiplied by 2 to the power negative 1 it's simply 2 to the power actually this x is on the exponent level okay so 1 multiplied by 2 to the power negative 1 it's 2 to the power negative 1 x equals to 4 and then Using the laws of exponents, this will be 2 to the power negative x is equals to 4. And then we have 2 to the power negative x is equals to 2 to the power 2. Then we have negative x is equals to 2. We simply divide by negative 1 both sides. We are going to have x is equals to negative 2. That's it for this lesson video. This is Wahula is J. Thank you very much.